Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, today it's going to be viewer questions. Uh, Fruit with Goose asks, uh, Megan and Harry, are they going to go to the coronation? And then Zenbazine, Zenbazine uh, wants to know uh, Elon Musk, 51-year-old Elon Musk, and uh, Twitter. What's going on there? So, what's the future of that? Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, this should be easy. I've got two of your requests. And the first one is from Fruit McGoose. I love that name. And asking, uh, what do the cards say for Meghan and Harry attending the King's coronation? And so that coronation is going to be on May 5th, Saturday, 2023. And that happens to be their son Archie's fourth uh, birthday. Now, I've spoken about this before, but this will be dedicated to just that question. Thanks, Fruit. And then the, uh, the next one is... Zenbazine. Zenbazine asks, can you read about Elon Musk, who, I just want to remind everybody, he's 51 years old. You know, he's not the, the you know, the, the amazing kid uh, out of college um, with ideas. He's 51 years old. Okay. And uh, so she wants to know um, his future and the future of Twitter, which amazingly that deal was completed on October 27th of this year. So that deal kind of was born as a Scorpio. And uh, that's less than, tw I mean, that's less than a month. That's two days shy of a month. Because right now it's November 25th when I'm taping this. Um, and, and this is what he's done to the company in that length of time. So we'll talk about all of that. So that sounds, that's pretty interesting to me, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Fruit Magoose, cool name. So what do the cards say for Meghan and Harry attending the King's coronation? I mean, it's just um, six months away, six or seven months away. And um, interesting uh, dilemma. So it would be a shame for his grandson not to be at his coronation. Um, so I just hope that that, that happens. Um, so Fruit Magoose asking, what do the cards say for Megan and Harry attending the King's Coronation? And so Saturday, May 6th, 2023, Archie's fourth birthday. Interesting. Let's uh, go ahead and have a moment of meditation. Okay, so Fruit, thanks for asking. And uh, what do the cards say for Harry and Maggie attending the King's Coronation? Let's do um, just three cards right off the top, just to see if we get a yes or a no. Three cards for sort of a yes or no. Two, three. It's, um, you know, a milestone. I mean, this would be something that uh, this will be part of that child's history for no other reason he should be there. And so we have here the Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. The Ace is a great big offer of, you know, that that valor uh, kind of. So um, interesting. Wanting to know if, uh, if they will attend. And you know what's interesting on this card too is I hadn't really noticed it before, but if you look right here, there's some sort of a of a, of a formula written down. I don't know what that might be, but it's a very interesting card. And uh, so what will he attend? We get the Ace of Swords. That's all good. I mean, it seems like it's something they would, they would do. But let's see what the next card up is. Ah, the Tower. Tower moment. Wow. I think they will attend. And I think a lot's going to be made of it. And then the final card is the High Priestess. Wow. So all these are, I mean, they're not all yes cards. Uh, these are yes cards, and this is a great big no card, but I think it, it's speaking more to what's gonna happen. So we get uh, this, um, almost this 
uh, it's their right to be there, and 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 the thing that seems the right thing to do is to attend. And uh, if what better way to celebrate your kid's birthday than on your the grandfather's coronation? So why not? So I'll say that's yes. But the tower card here in the middle is telling me there's going to be, I mean, something's going to happen. Something's going to come of this. It's going to be probably the kind of attention Charles doesn't particularly want. But hopefully as king, he'll uh, know how to um, learn to live with. And then the final card, this high priestess, it kind of brings a, 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 a serenity uh, to it. And so I feel like it's going to be an event and uh, but it's going to be a teaching moment in a lot of ways hmm. so let's do six cards just to see how that's going to go fruit magoose asking for harry and megan attending the king's coronation which happens to be on their son's fourth birthday i mean that's a freaky coincidence and i guess it's not a coincidence because someone did choose the date of that coronation could someone have chosen that date on purpose you know it's not uh, you know like the third uh, Sunday of the first month of so you know it's it was a date that someone said let's use this date so I wonder um, if Charles could have chosen that date uh, on purpose um, let's do this let's do three more cards before we get too far and I'm gonna say first of all did someone choose that date on purpose Did someone choose that because it certainly could have been staff and he might not really be aware. Three cards. And this is assuming that there's some sort of, or leaning towards there's some sort of um, ill intent happening in behind uh, palace walls, okay? Um, the moon card, secrets being revealed. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, three of Pentacles, building something for public display. And the Two of Pentacles, finding a balance. Well, now that's interesting. So I was taking it to be um, a sneaky situation happening with the staff. And that kind of was reinforced with the secrets being revealed. But um, if we think about it as kind of being a, this being the cause for this, I don't know. But secret, so there's there's stuff that's going to come out. There's dirty laundry that's going to be aired as a result of this, either by the press or just by the fact of people talking about what's been going on. But then the um, the center card, this Three of Pentacles, which is Pentacles are value and worth, and the Three of Pentacles is cooperation towards building something up. And so that could be, it still could be staff saying, let's, uh, let's suggest this date to Charles, and uh, he won't know any different. And... Um, or it could be intentionally building some sort of comfort, some sort of uh, goodwill uh, for public display. But then the final card makes me think that it was intentional and probably Charles was fully aware. And that's the Two of Pentacles, it's finding a perfect balance of that value. So we've got the immense value of the King's Coronation and the kind of faded value of a child's fourth birthday. How memorable memorable to think is that but finding that balance one of them actually is a little less uh, is more weighty uh, than the other okay so the coronation is certainly more weighty than the child's birthday so I think maybe there was some intention here and now so now uh, yeah we've into that quiz so let's see how is it gonna go let's see if the cards can tell us more specifically how that might what might happen how's that gonna go on that day okay uh, six cards one, two, don't you want to know? I do. And you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That'll help me a lot. Do I have six? I can't walk and chew gum. Two, three, four, five, I need one more. So, yeah, subscribe. Remember to do that. And uh, let's see what the cards are going to tell us about what's going to happen on that day. Okay, we've said that they're going to be there, so we'll assume that. And we said that it was a choice that uh, Charles made. So we're going to assume those two things. Uh, the signifier of this whole thing is strength. Interesting, strength. And um, and depicted in this card, this woman has kind of a lion's face and a woman's face. And there's an innocent lamb down here. This lamb makes me think of the baby, of course. This woman actually makes me think of Camilla. So the 
and um, and look at this infinity symbol that she's holding above her head that's tattooed onto her arm which would indicate a younger woman but then uh, Megan wouldn't have anything to do with when the date's chosen so I wonder if Camilla had something to do with that that's a signifier card uh, some strength is what's required on the day of course it is I mean Charles is this is an amazing situation ceremony that he'll be going through and the strength on the part of the uh, Sussexes I don't know so much um, ah and then it's challenged by the lovers, the sixth card. And yeah, so it's challenged by tr finding a mend, okay? Finding something, uh, fixing something, uh, falling in love with something, finding a perfect pairing. And then the basis of the whole thing, this six is victory. Six of Wands is victory. And you know, this card just always reminds me of uh, the Duchess of Sussex um, because this, to me, always looks like a, a, a microphone on a stand. Uh, and uh, and this seems like her being a star in her element on stage, you know, taking that bow. So the basis of this whole thing, um, because we're talking about the, the uh, Sussexes attending the coronation, the basis of this whole thing is it being a success for them. And she really seems to be the driving force of them. Uh, the past of this then with this Four of Swords is uh, knowing when to just lay low that's in the past so by the time this happens they will have gone through that phase and known when to appear and then the sky of this up here what you're going to aim for with this queen of pentacles yeah this is speaking a lot to some feminine energy here this queen is very smug in her um you know her uh, mastery of this value that she has just held in her hand this could be camilla this could also be uh, Megan I like that card for this and then the final outcome for how's this day gonna go um, is the ten of swords and the ten of swords is a complete end of a cycle and it's usually kind of a a sickening card to get you know it's kind of it's, it's typically depicted as ten swords in the back of a fella laying on the ground but here in this deck uh, the light seers tarot it's um, it's depicted by these this flock, you know, kind of flying off into the distance. I guess they could poop all over, her, you know. So uh, it, so it's definitely this is going to be significant of the end of some past stage of that relationship. This tells me that this will be the beginning of amending. I hope. So let's read it again. So uh, Fruit Magoose says, what did the cards say for Harry and Meghan attending the King's birthday? And remember we've mentioned Harry and Meghan first and it's on Archie's uh, birthday. Uh, the King's coronation. King's birthday. King's coronation. So it starts out with strength. Required by all. Challenged by what? Challenged by, you know, making up. Okay. Uh, being being lovers again. And the basis of this whole thing is the strength, this feminine energy of strength um, that is going to be required uh, by uh, everyone. And it is victorious. So that's pointing in that directory of victory. The past, knowing when to just stay cocooned up and don't get hurt, that's in the past. So that decision has been made that, okay, this is going to be okay to come out now. And in the sky of this, with this Queen of Pentacles, really in charge of all of that value, okay? A smug kind of mastery of what has happened here. This looks like it could be for Megan, could be for Camilla, could be for the whole ceremony. Um, and then the final outcome, though, is that this is the end of a cycle. We're watching the past fly off, and now something new is about to start. So yeah, I think this will be a significant day. I think they will attend. Um, so that's where we're going to land on that. And I think I've talked about these things. You know, I don't remember what I say in previous videos um, because I, it's just it happens at the moment. I don't write it down. I don't go back and look at the videos, you know, once they're edited. And um, so the next one is Zenbazine. And I think I've addressed this before too, but it doesn't hurt to mention it again. It says, read on Elon Musk, who happens to be 51 years old. So he's not the whiz kid that he was. And, um, and the future of Twitter. And the future of Twitter. Elon Musk and the future of Twitter. I know I read all this, but we're here, so we'll do it. So Elon Musk and the future of Twitter. Has Elon Musk passed his prime? Three cards. One, two, is he a little long in the tooth for the admiration we've been giving him? 
It's his shelf life. Uh, what else can I say? Okay, so the first card, Elon Musk. Um, Nine of Cups. So this is that uh, almost familial, almost generational, uh, emotional value. It's starting out with a big boom of that in this Nine of Cups. Next card for Elon Musk is this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. You know, wands are, are actions and plans and getting things done. And the Knight of Wands is, a, is the fighter of the royal court. And so this is Elon, and it's not the King of Wands, is it? It's the Knight of Wands. So it's putting him in a very defensive uh, position and not at all in charge of the situation as the king. He's fighting. Okay. Uh, this is about Twitter. And then the final card for this, oh, it's still the Knight of Pentacles. But you know, the thing about this knight is this is the steadfast, determined uh, knight. And Pentacles is loaded with value and they're well represented on this card. So, um, what this is... Elon's fight, okay? We're gonna see. Uh, he's gonna come out of this a fighter, but it doesn't tell us whether he's gonna come out of it a winner. Let's draw one more card. The Ace of Cups. I think he may find some kind of a, a compassionate... Um, he, uh, he may come out okay on this. Ace of Cups. Great big offer of compassion. And then Twitter. Future of Twitter. Thought I dropped a card on the floor there. I didn't. Maybe you would have seen that through here. I don't really remember the angle that has. So, the future of Twitter, which he just acquired. I mean, the deal closed, I guess is what you would say, on October 27th, uh, my birthday. So the deal is a, it was born as a Scorpio. Three cards for Twitter, quickly. One, two, and what's on our minds is, is it gonna survive? And um, let's see what the cards say. First card, it's going to be another perspective. We're going to have to look at it in another way, or it's going to be determined in another way. So, yeah, getting another perspective on this thing. The next card up is a uh, page of cups. Page is weak. Cups are emotional, and so. It looks like we may have some sort of a um, a suggestion of a healing here with this emotional, this, this just this hint of some emotion here. Twitter is what we're talking about, and then the final ah the sun card. So yeah, so it's I think of course he's going to come out of it. So a different perspective, a little uh, cup of emotion here and look at these uh this little symbol see these two hands do you see the two hands right there i don't know what they're holding but they're making the heart sign the heart sign so so some kind of compassion comes out of it and he comes out a winner or the twitter twitter does now we'll just do six cards to see more fully what can happen with twitter okay twitter cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Twitter. Here we go. Signifier card, lovers. Wow. Signifier card. So there's a lot of emotion there. There's a lot of want there really being drawn to someone or a thing challenged by the eight of wands are all the stuff that's happening at the same time all the plans that are just coming together but in this deck they're representative kind of a glorious celebration almost but yeah this can this can be issues a lot of passion wanting to be with someone or something and there being a lot of issues twitter and uh, ah, and the base of this whole thing is the magician card, and so that's finding the magic. Okay, and that's the base of this. I don't say that it that's defining it, but it's it's what's it's, it needs to be found. And in the past, right here with the hangman again, love it when the cards repeat. It just tells me that um, they're playing the game with us. 
And so the hangman is, um, you know, getting that other perspective. So this is tying that first reading into this one. And in the sky is the Eight of Pentacles, practicing your craft, getting your value just right. And that's what Elon's doing right now. He's going to catch up and he's got enough money to keep things going. Okay. And I think he thrives on this stuff. Although he's getting to be a little long, you know, long in the tooth, isn't that what they say? And then the final card for Twitter, okay, Nine of Swords is, is and uh, Nine of Wands rather, and the Wands are the plans, the actions, and being embattled. But look, this is a very confident uh, person here who is ready to continue to take on those issues. I think they're going to come out of it. They are going to come out of it. They'll find a, there will be <sighs> plans that get done for this. So that's what I got today. Those two viewer uh, questions. Thanks for asking. Well, that's what we got. So listen, I really love viewer questions. So, you know, whatever you have that you want to know about, if you'll ask, I'll read about it. Just put a note in the comments and I usually catch it. Um, so I hope you liked what we said. If not, uh, let me know uh, what your uh, reaction was to all of that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So, The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable. And uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal. So you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.